It is the first main event here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway Bowl Ring. Getting ready for the Fall Classic to get underway. Main event action, it's the Bandolero starting us off with Race and Mason and the 48 machine on the pole. Green flag is out. This ought to be fun. Side by side by side. Racing all through turns number one and two. This is a combined Bandolero race, which means Young Gun and Outlaws are competing amongst each other. Which normally, uh, it seems like every time we're out here, well, some they contact. usually split them up. Oh boy. But Racing Mason out to the early lead here. I believe, no. He was he in the was. lead at uh, the very beginning. The 29 machine taking it over. Kyle Jackson, the number 29. Mason Sargent in the number 48. And then we've got the number... Jeffrey? Third the 18 place. machine. The 18, my bad eyes there. Tyler Emmond in the third spot. Coming around the corner. Oh, the big battle. Oh, in the third spot. The 21, you mean? Yes, Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> you could have just looked at the uh, beautiful board that has all the numbers. Denzel West, and then we've got the number 18, of course, we had mentioned. Uh, Tyler Emmond. The 31, look at this battle. Going into turn number three of Ethan Dergovara. And then the 21 of Aiden Green. And the numbers match the last name. Yeah, this battle's been one that's been going on for quite a while. These three drivers battling all for the fourth position. You see our leaders, the top three, all kind of single file right now. The draft taking effect. Very true. These drivers do not lift around this entire track. Also in this race, the number 08, that is driven by Brody Warren. The number 55 of Hayden Plybong. Then the number 12. This is about a good race here. Heading down the back story, we've got three packs of Bandoleros. The number... 12. 12. <laughs> 12 and the 24. We've got Jeff Gordon rounding out the field. The number 12 that is driven by Kyle K Keller. Kyle Keller, that's a name that I'm familiar with. And the 24 machine rounding out the field, that is RJ Smotherman. And he's battling with Keller. It's a good battle. We have actually seen the 24 of Smotherman spin it out in the heat race. Yeah, heat races earlier today. They kind of have, they break it up in a way, and Tommy, oh, and contact down the back straightaway. Keller looking to the inside of the 55, not able to get it done. Plybong throwing the block. I was just going to say that uh, it, it's almost, it reminds us in a way of a dirt track format this weekend. Yes. Which actually has been helping us because we've been visiting a few dirt tracks lately. And kicking the tripod. Sorry, man. Halfway, lap number 10 of 20. <laughs> oh, folks, we welcome anyone who's never seen Low Budget TV before. Uh, welcome. We're covering here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. It's the bowling, the short track. You can see the big old speedway in the background right now over in turn number three. And I uh, always love coming on out to this track, Tommy. Like you said earlier during the B main events, it's it's kind of like a vacation for us to be able to come out here to Nevada, in Vegas, have some fun watching some short track racing. And you know, it's great. You know, a big thank you to the staff living leading us cover this event for everyone out there. And as you know, we're you're watching us on our YouTube channel. You can also check us out throughout the year. We're visiting dirt tracks asphalt tracks, demolition derbies, and more. But you're here with us right now at the Bull Ring in Las Vegas, and we have a three-car breakaway. Battling, I guess that's more of a three-car battle for the lead. Jack's leading it over Racing Mason in the number 48. So that is the battle for the lead. You see Mason to the inside looking it was. And now the 21 on the charge. A little bit of bumping back here going on between the 18 and the 21 of Green. Green oh. and Emmond. You saw him up on the rumble strips. Now there are two 21s and I'm trying to 
decipher which one is which. None of them, there's some letters on the on our phone. We're having to use our phone this weekend. So bear in mind the fact that. <laughs> well, we did mention also in the B-Main events that this came together very late as yes. far as our coverage goes here at the bull ring. Um, so uh, that is one reason we're still kind of catching up on driver sheets. And a couple of these divisions were not as I should say, usual with seeing all these drivers. A lot of different drivers. In fact, I don't think any of these drivers are regulars. Obviously, there's a couple a that we've seen from time to time. I think Jeffrey just hit a bump right there. I did. You got that right, Tommy. Lap, lap traffic. traffic is going to come into play because we talk about how important these lines are for these bandoleros. They're closing in and gooding around the number 55 of Hayden Flyblong. Four laps to go. Play, let me try that again. Oh! Fly bong. And racing Mason. That should have been a wreck. Save. But it wasn't. It. That Great was a hard job. hit. The well, 21 gets by. That's even the 21 of green or west. <laughs> We're really uh, showing the product, the quality of our product tonight, aren't we? Very true. <laughs> That's Sam? either uh, Jeff Gordon or Casey Kane. Are we? <laughs> It happens well, all the time on ESPN. You know what, though? I gotta get. Let's talk about this. How about this? Yeah. Do the Cup Series have multiple numbers in the same division? <laughs> what do they got on that? <laughs> huh? Huh? I give you that. All right, thank you. Well, Sam Jackson, the 29. I think it's raining now. Oh! Almost trouble for your leader with some lap traffic. Flag is out for the 29 of Kyle Jacks. It is definitely windy out here. You can hear it. Kyle Jacks down the back straightaway. Look at Mason, racing Mason, racing back up to the second spot. Almost making contact. Your leader making contact, but he'll cross the line. Kyle Jacks, checkered flag here. That was almost too exciting for the At the, the bull ring, 20 lap feature for the Bandoleros. Very good. And clean for the most part. 20 laps of action, Tommy. Do they ever let us down? Never, never, never. Gear involved. Just, just a lot. Just layers of it. But look at that sweet trophy. You like that trophy, Pit Boss? You're hoisting it like you won. Yeah. Good job. The roof is open, and Kyle beginning to make his way out of the car. Let's celebrate with him right now. Give it up for Kyle Jacks! Look at that fancy sign. Congratulations. Always nice to see you here in Victory Lane. You had some very close company behind you. How did you hold them off? I tried to pull my line. I was, yeah, I was about to trying to just... And you did it very well. What do you, what do you like about racing in a combined feature? It just gives you the best. Both worlds, like the smaller kids and the outlaws. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Do you want to say some thank yous for this win? I want to thank my dad, my brother. Our my family for coming us up, my family for coming out, and all the fans that came out. They are the best, and you did a fantastic job. Give it up one more time for Kyle Jacks! Congratulations to Kyle Jacks, driver in the number 29 machine. The Bandolero feature is done, Tommy, 2014. We've talked about what a precedent 2013's Bandolero race had set, and I gotta say, the action was just as good, maybe even a little bit better. A constant battle up front, the action never ended. And you know what? That is definitely the best Bandolero race I've seen all year long here at the Bowling in 2014.